Yeah. We do it in ghetto hood style today, holding the webcam. That's how I like to do it, all right? So check it out. This is, uh, first of all, this is Nas Squared, your boy. Knoxhouse.com, up and running. Go check it out. Got to throw that plug in there. But look, today I'm not really doing a beat, uh, per se, like I usually do, program and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, so if you're waiting on that, I don't want you to waste your time. I don't like people to waste time. This is for people that want to know how to do external MIDI from machine to an external device. Like it could be a Motif, Phantom. Triton, all the joints. Mine, I went in the closet and found my old Roland XV3080, which got some great sounds. Definitely was used a lot. Those of you who do R&B, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, uh, let's let's keep this let's keep it simple and keep it rolling. So once again, I'm sorry about the holding up the cam, but that's the best I could do to show y'all. So basically, get a MIDI cable. You know what a MIDI cable is. Plug it to the MIDI out a machine. Go to the MIDI end of your external device and press a pad i'm in group g you can be in any group that you want to i press a pad it's nothing playing right so what i'm going to do is go to the software boy i'm holding the camera up to the screen look kind of clear though right let me see go in here all right sound one which was pad one I'm going to go up here to source src click the drop down box midi out now, machine is sending MIDI channel one to the int to the external device, which is accepting MIDI channel one. Whatever I got on MIDI channel one and external device is going to play. In this case, in my rolling, I got strings. Now, what I'm going to do, this is just how I do it because I duplicate a lot with samples and MIDI. So I'm going to hold duplicate down. I'm doing this in one hand. Hit the pad, then go to pad two, then three. So now all three of these are going to have the same MIDI channel, right? But if you look up here, you can't see. You're not going to be able to see it because I can't scroll, zoom in on this. I'll try. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do it. Go to MIDI channel two for the pad that's lit. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's make that three because that's the third pad. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to MIDI channel three. And for this pad, which is the second one, I'm going to go and make that MIDI channel two. So now... On my external device, I have different things on MIDI, different MIDI channels. I'm just using three today. Strings on one. On two, I have a piano. And on three, I got... That's not machine playing. That's the external device. So when I want to sequence... Now, I'm just going to play whatever, okay? Bear with me. Now, that's the sequencer of machine playing that. Now, check this out. On my, um, I got the MPK by Akai. Now, it's playing whatever pad is lit. Now, I'm going to this pad, number one, and it's going to play that. Let's go ahead and lay that down. It's in record mode on sequence. That's machine sequencing. In group D, I got some drums. I want to go ahead and program it for you. Let's go ahead and do it. Simple as that. Now, I'm, I could get more in depth in it, but you know what I mean. I'm just, this is just to start you off. Now, of course, when you go, uh, of course you can uh, have MIDI channel. You can have 16 different MIDI channels, different pads or whatever. And say you want to have uh, two pads with the same MIDI channel, you know, just duplicate it like I did. You know, you might want to have uh, uh, some drum sounds or whatever from another device, you know. But basically, that's it in a nutshell on how to do it. So, uh when you dive into it, you'll see a lot more. I just wanted to get you started so you can see how to go from here to here. Also, the, the Akai is the is the regular is the one that I play normally 
into machine to control the sounds. But when you plug in your external device, it's going to uh, control the external device also. So, because it goes right through machine to the external device. So. That is the rolling. So that's not the uh, that's not machine. Also, before I go, look, this is serious. I wanted to do this quick. What I gotta tell you is, if you can, please, 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 please. I know it's a lot of producers that check out my YouTube channel. I appreciate the love and support and everything. Also, shout out to Native Instruments. Got me on uh, on their on their website. They put one of my videos up there to join about a 1.1 update. I appreciate y'all, and that's thanks to y'all for uh, definitely supporting out there. So. That's thanks to everybody who watches that they took notice. And I appreciate that from everybody. All right. First of all, let me say invest in an audio interface. Mine is the NRV 10. You don't have to get that. I got the M audio NRV 10. I got it for a, a good price. So I got it. It's got uh, basically 10 channels, firewire going into the uh, computer, but you can get something that costs a hundred uh, or $99 to, to $200 or whatever. Like M audio makes a lot of good stuff, but I'm not, you know, you can find something as long as it, can give you more power to route stuff. One reason that I get a lot of good things out of the machine is because I can route anything from this mixer. I usually have my mic on MIDI channel three. I can route anything from this mixer and it will play into machine. It could just be sampling my voice alone while music is playing or it could sample the music while my voice is not heard or whatever. Basically, uh, just to give you all an idea, let me play that beat. <laughs> All right, that, that beat is hella whack, but look, I'm gonna click a pad, hit sampling, and I got it routed. Machine is accepting the, uh, that's the, that's the external device. I'm gonna hit sample. And see, what I like is, I got that freedom now on that pad. See, that's what it's about. It's about being able to route stuff wherever you want, not having to worry about, you know, how do you plug a turntable in or how do you plug this in it. You get an audio interface. And I'm not I'm not trying to come down on people that don't have the money because I know at times are hard. But if you can invest in that, anybody that has an audio interface is going to chime in and say, do that. You got to get an audio interface. If you get a machine, make sure the next thing of money you get, go get an audio interface and plug it into your computer especially laptops because you know the laptops are notorious for having funky uh I, I wanted to use another f word but effed up you know uh internal sound cards internal sound stuff you know and people are having problems with that i get a lot of laptop um people questions from people you know it's not accepting this or not doing that you got to get audio interface and i'm sorry to preach like this but you know i appreciate y'all watching get audio interface and once again I hope y'all enjoy this. You know, that's the best I could do holding this webcam. But uh, you want to get MIDI to go from machine to the external? That's how you do it, all right? And you could do, once you get there, dive in. It's a lot more stuff you could do. Dive into it. I'm going to come back eventually and show you how to control the software, which is what I mainly do and because uh, I got complete six. So I'm out. Get that audio interface. Thanks to everybody for the support. I really, uh, I, I can't tell y'all how much I appreciate that, y'all. All right? Peace.